New developments now in the Russia investigation. This morning, we are learning more about why former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos lied to the FBI about his Russia contacts. His motive, a mystery until now. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with those new details. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Amy. The conviction of George Papadopoulos for lying to the FBI was the first major break in the Russia investigation. And this morning, we're learning it was an apparent case of blind loyalty to protect Donald Trump. According to a person with direct knowledge of the investigation, George Papadopoulos says he lied to agents so he wouldn't contradict what Donald Trump had been saying publicly about his campaign's contacts with Russia. It's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. And this directly to ABC's Cecilia Vega. Did you or anyone in your campaign have any contact with Russia leading up to or during the campaign? Well, Nothing at all. Two weeks later, Papadopoulos tried to stick to the official line, telling FBI agents, according to court filings, that his contact with Russia occurred before he joined the Trump campaign, when in fact they occurred after Trump announced Papadopoulos as part of his campaign team. George Papadopoulos, excellent guy. And the person with knowledge of the investigation says Papadopoulos is upset. The man he tried to protect is now trying to distance himself, as with this presidential tweet. Few people knew the young, low-level volunteer named George, who has already proven to be a liar. You know, you're a senior foreign policy advisor uh, until you do something that exposes the connections uh, of the campaigns. And it turns out Papadopoulos, the so-called low-level volunteer, was traveling the world during the campaign on his own, introducing himself as a Trump advisor. This was Papadopoulos in Athens with the president of Greece in May of last year. Big news in that country. In September, he met with mid-level officials at the British Foreign Office in London. And later met with Israeli settlers, both in Washington and Israel. The group posting this video of Papadopoulos describing Trump's new policies. We're looking forward to ushering in a new relationship between the United States and all of Israel. And we're told Papadopoulos has told investigators he reported back to his superiors in the campaign about all of his travels. All right, and Brian, we now know that Trump's former bodyguard, Keith Schiller, told Congress this week that Trump rejected an offer of prostitutes in Moscow back in 2013. That's right, I mean, the longtime bodyguard and confidant essentially knocked down allegations in that dossier prepared for the Clinton campaign that Trump spent time with prostitutes, saying he thought the offer of some women was a joke and he rejected it and did not even mention it to Trump until hours later. Brian, this investigation is moving pretty fast right now. We've also learned that Robert Mueller has talked to one of the president's closest policy advisors, Stephen Miller. Right, George. He's the most senior member of Trump's inner circle, who was a great interest in the special counsel. He played an important role in crafting a defense for Trump's decision to fire FBI Director yeah, James Comey. A lot Comey. of time with the president that fateful weekend.